Hello friends. Here it is given that the velocities of a particle along and perpendicular to the radius vector from a fixed origin are lambda r and mu theta. Find the path and show that acceleration along and perpendicular to radius vector r mu theta times lambda plus mu divided by r and lambda square r minus mu square theta square divided by r. You can see here the velocities of a particle along and perpendicular to the radius vector. So we know that velocity component along the radius vector is called radial velocity and velocity component perpendicular to the radius vector is called transverse velocity. So here the velocities of a particle along along the radius vector is given by lambda and velocity component velocity component perpendicular to the radius vector is given by mu theta. So this lambda r this is the radial velocity because this is the velocity along the radius vector and mu theta this is the velocity perpendicular to the uh, radius vector so this is transverse velocity. Here it is given that here it is given radial velocity radial velocity is equal to we know that radial velocity is dr upon dt and this is given by lambda r this is the first equation here we can see that the velocity component along the radius vector is given by lambda r and we know that the velocity component along the radius vector is called radial velocity so radial velocity is given by lambda r and we know that radial velocity is dr upon dt now we can see that transverse velocity transverse velocity this is r dr upon dt so this is r sorry this is r d theta upon dt this is the transverse velocity r d theta upon dt this is the transverse velocity and it is given that mu theta we know that the velocity component perpendicular to the radius vector is known as transverse velocity and we know that transverse velocity is r d theta upon dt so the transverse velocity is given here mu theta now first we find out here the path find the path so first we divide equation 1 by 2 so we get here dr by dt divided by r d theta upon dt this is equal to lambda r divided by mu theta you can see here when we divide equation 1 by equation 2 we get dr by dt divided by r d theta upon dt is equal to lambda r divided by mu theta so you can see this dt is cancelled out here so dr divided by r d theta is equal to lambda r upon mu theta. Now we can see here this is the differential equation of first order first degree. So we use here variable separable method. So this can be written as dr upon r square is equal to lambda upon mu theta and d theta. We use here variable separable method. So this can be written as dr upon r square is equal to lambda upon mu theta d theta. Now you on integration both sides on integration both sides we get dr upon r square is equal to lambda upon mu d theta upon theta. Now we take this r square in the numerator, we get here r to the power minus 2 dr is equal to lambda upon mu and we know that integration of 1 upon theta with respect to theta 
can be written as log theta. Integration of this r to the power minus 2 is equal to here r to the power minus 1 divided by minus 1. Here lambda upon mu log theta we can take some constant here. So we take constant here lambda upon mu log c. This is the constant here. Now suppose the constant here take minus times lambda upon mu log c. Here we taking common lambda upon mu in these two terms. So we get here lambda upon mu log theta minus log c. In the left hand side we can write this minus time 1 upon r. So on the right hand side using property of log so we get here we get here this can be written as minus 1 upon r times lambda upon mu log of theta divided by c. Because we know that log m minus log m that is equal to log m by n. So this can be also written as minus mu upon lambda r is equal to log of theta upon c. So using here property of log, so theta upon c can be written as e to the power minus mu upon lambda r. So theta is equal to c times e to the power minus mu upon lambda r. So this is the part. This is the path here. Now we find here, again we have to show that the acceleration, again we have to show that here, acceleration along and perpendicular to radius vector. We know that the acceleration along and perpendicular to radius vector, acceleration along the radius vector is known as radial acceleration whereas acceleration perpendicular to the radial sector is transverse acceleration. So we find here radial acceleration and transverse acceleration. Now we know that here radial acceleration this is equal to in previous video we have seen what is the formula of radial acceleration. So this is d2r by dt2 minus r d theta upon dt whole square. This is the formula of radial acceleration. This is d2r by dt2 minus r times d theta upon dt whole square. So first we, first we find d2r by dt2. We know that from the first equation here, from first equation we can see that dr by dt this is equal to lambda. So we differentiate both sides with respect to time. So we get here d2r by dt2 is equal to lambda times dr by dt because lambda is constant here. And we put again value of dr by dt. So this is equal to lambda square r. Now we put here value of d2r by d2, dt2 is equal to lambda square r here. So we get lambda square r minus r and from given equation second transverse velocity, we can see that d theta by dt this is equal to mu theta upon r. You can see from the given equation second d theta upon dt this is equal to mu theta upon r. You can see from second equation d theta upon dt this is equal to mu theta upon r. Solving this we get here lambda square r minus r mu square theta square upon r square. So this r is cancelled out. So we get here lambda square r minus mu square theta square divided by r. Now we can see here radial expression proved. Now we find again 
transverse acceleration that acceleration which is perpendicular to the radius vector transverse acceleration we know that the transverse acceleration we have proved in the previous video what is the uh, what is the formula for transverse acceleration this is 1 upon r d by dt of r square d theta divided by gt this is the formula for the transverse acceleration 1 upon r d by dt of r square d theta upon dt now we can see here 1 upon r d by dt and r square we put here value of d theta by dt so d theta by dt d theta by dt from second equation we find d theta by dt is equal to mu theta by r so mu theta by r here in the transverse acceleration in the formula of transverse acceleration we put here value of d theta by dt so from second equation d theta by dt is equal to mu theta upon r now we can see here this r is cancelled by this square so transverse acceleration this is equal to 1 upon r d by dt of r mu r mu r theta so mu is constant so taking outside the differential operator so this is mu by r d by dt of r theta now we differentiate r theta with respect to time so we get here using product rule of differentiation first d theta upon dt plus theta dr upon dt as we use formula for differentiation of product of two functions now we again put here value of d theta by dt from second equation so we get here mu theta upon r we know that from the second equation d theta by dt this is equal to mu theta upon r plus theta times dr by dt from first equation it is given that this is lambda r now we can see that in this bracket we take common small r so and theta also so mu r and r theta common here so we write mu by r plus lambda so you can see here this r is cancelled out here mu theta and mu by r plus lambda so this can be also written as mu theta times lambda plus mu upon r so this is the transverse velocity which is perpendicular to the radius this is the transverse acceleration which is perpendicular to the radius vector here transverse acceleration are given by mu theta lambda plus mu by r and radial acceleration is given by lambda square r minus mu square theta square upon r so in this given question we have to show that the acceleration along and perpendicular to the radius vector r mu theta lambda plus mu by r and lambda square r minus mu square theta square upon r we have to prove thank you